For the first time, New Zealand has a sophisticated patient safety initiative that will reduce harm caused by surgical site infections. The Surgical Site Infection Improvement Program provides district health boards with best practice quality improvement interventions to help them reduce surgical site infection risk. The first to be implemented is the Surgical Antimicrobial Prophylaxis Intervention. This is a critical evidence-based prevention strategy for patients undergoing surgical procedures such as hip and knee arthroplasty. The Surgical Site Infection Improvement Program is a program designed to collect data nationwide on the incidence of wound infection. It enables individual surgeons to benchmark their performance against their colleagues throughout the country and the country as a whole. The use of antibiotics in the appropriate manner is a very important strategy in preventing wound infection. This means giving antibiotic prior to the surgical incision being made. The most effective way of preventing bacteria from multiplying and establishing an infection is to have the patient's tissues saturated in an antibiotic which will kill those organisms as soon as they settle. The surgical antimicrobial prophylaxis is evidence-based and it's been shown to decrease the risk of surgical site infections in hip and knee arthroplasty. We need to make sure that we give the right drug in the right dose at the right time to enable um, adequate tissue levels and plasma levels of the drug to be present. So it's very important that we give the right drug and the right dose, which in orthopaedic surgery is two grams of kefazolin. It should be given at the right time, zero to 60 minutes before the skin incision and three eight hourly doses after surgery. And this is because you want to have appropriate tissue and blood levels at the at the time of maximum contamination so that um, it prevents the surgical site infection. The Surgical Site Infection Improvement Program encourages district health boards to take action and reduce surgical site infection risk by using the right patient. As part of the surgical safety checklist, confirm the patient identity at sign-in. The right antibiotic. Evidence supports cefazolin as the preferred cephalosporin for surgical antimicrobial prophylaxis in clean orthopaedic procedures. The right dose. The first choice for surgical antimicrobial prophylaxis for orthopaedic surgery is greater than or equal to 2 grams of cefazolin. The right route. For orthopaedic patients, surgical antimicrobial prophylaxis is given by the intravenous route. The right time. Surgical antimicrobial prophylaxis is administered up to 60 minutes before knife to skin as a single dose. And surgical antimicrobial prophylaxis should be discontinued within 24 hours after surgery end time. More detailed information can be found in the Surgical Site Infection Improvement Program Implementation Guidelines on the Health Quality and Safety Commission website. I'm definitely excited about a future where there are less surgical site infections. It's very important that we do all work together to make sure that we decrease the rate of surgical site infections because it will improve patient outcome and definitely improve the patient experience. An orthopaedic surgeon's life would be a dream without infection. From the patient's point of view, it is even more desirable because every time, and even the most minor infection occurs, it delays recovery. And anything that will reduce wound infection is A, good for the patient, and B, good for the surgeon.